Welcome to Wednesdays with Weingarts. I'm Ron Weingarts. Today I'm here to talk, talk about the Toro Time Master mowers. If you look, this is a 30 inch mower. So what this does, this gives you about 30% more production over a typical 21 inch. But with the dual blade design, they're able to shorten up the, the frame. So it's very compact for this size machine, which makes it easier to handle and also takes, takes less storage space. So they really did a nice job with this. Also, some other nice features, they have up the power from the original model, so you're up to a 223cc engine. So when you get in those tougher mowing conditions, especially in the spring of the year, it's gonna have the power to, to get through that. Also, excellent ground speed with their four, up to four and a half mile per hour speed. You know, so being this is designed for a larger lawn, if the conditions warrant, you can move it a pretty good clip if you're, if you're ready to walk that fast. And they do use, so this has a blade clutch system uh, so to engage the blade, you just push it forward, and what's nice when you let off, the blades will stop, but the engine stays running. So if you need to go move something from the yard, pick up a stick, you don't have to restart the mower every time you walk away. Another nice feature is the personal pace, which has been around for a long time. It really is an excellent drive system. So the personal pace, the, the idea behind it is just the pressure on the handles. The faster you walk, the faster it propels. So you really don't have to think about it. You just start walking and naturally you're going to put more pressure on the handles and it's going to um, propel the machine faster based on every individual's walking condition. So there's, there's no levers to adjust. You just walk and it, it adjusts to your speed. They also did add this handle, which is nice. So if you do have to pull backwards, you can just pull backwards. So you're not grabbing on your personal pace bar. That's something, something that's been added a few years ago. Nice big uh, tires all the way around, especially the rears, nice uh, tall and wide drive tires. This is both a bagger and a mulching model. So the bag just lifts up to dump, and then you'd have a plug that, when it's mulching, the plug would be installed, and when you're bagging, you just remove that plug. Also for, for storage, it's very convenient just to pop that up, give yourself some more room in the garage, or you can go all the way over and just flip it all the way over. Very, very nice feature, makes it quick and easy uh, to, to, to fold the handles for storage. Um, so it really is a very productive machine. Uh, it's been around for quite a while, but they've made some nice enhancements over the years. Big one is the engine upgrade. Um, it is available in either a pull start um, or an electric start. So the advantage you have with the electric start um, this is a pretty good size engine, so it does have a, a, a battery. Um, you just tap the key to charge. But let's say your battery should go dead for some reason. You still do have the backup rope, so you could start it manually. Um, but it, the, the electric start, um, it, the, not that it's hard to start, but it does take a little bit more effort. So you may want to look at the electric start to make your, make your job a little bit easier. Also, you notice a washout port, so you just hook up your garden hose. So you don't have to tip the mower on its side. You just hook that on and the blades will, will clean that, clean the deck out. So if you've got a little more property or you just want to get the job done a little bit quicker, the Toro Time Master is an excellent, excellent mower to take a look at. Thanks for listening today. Wine guards, wine guards, everything.